Welcome to ITK Study Park. This is SPK. So now today onwards, I'm going to start the Spring Boot batch. So today's session uh, is just an uh, overview and some introduction about the Spring Boot. I will provide the notes on these things. So ready, guys. Uh, those are follows my videos. Just uh, uh, go through these videos and join our Telegram channel. You will get a Telegram channel link in that video description, so you can join us. So now I have told you use. I'm going to use MS Paint. MS Paint for the preparing notes and all these things here. On the page. Okay. So now today's discussion is this being good. Uh, sixteen is good. Good. Yeah, perfect. Now, this question about Spring Boot. Spring Boot. Now, how many people here? Those are watching these videos. If you are aware about Spring Boot, it's good, well and good. If you don't know anything about Spring Boot, just hand over your brain with, uh, to me, and I will teach you. Don't worry. So spring would basic and to advance I will teach you. So now here this is uh, this is other mode of this is other mode of this is the other mode of spring. We have already spring framework, then the introduce spring boot. The spring boot is totally based on annotations like annotation configuration. Here is not required to configure XML file. Okay. So that's why the stream boot is the boom, the market. Uh, right now, in these days, it's a boom. The stream boot boom is going on. Okay, so here, the point is, it is not it is not another module in spring. Okay. Not a, another module in a spring. Not required. Perfect. Now this is required. So now, by using Spring Boot, by using Spring Boot, when we develop application internally, it is using internally. Remember my point, but I'm saying internally, it is using a Spring Framework. Okay. So now my point is, it is, it is an approach which is developing, developing Spring App, Spring App. It is using the internally internally in framework. What it is. So now these are two points. So now Spring Boot is nothing but it is the providing configuration. Okay, removing the uh violent plane codes. Okay, that's the point. So now so by using four approaches, by using four approaches, we can develop a spring app. By using developing a spring app, what is the four approaches we have? The four approaches we have, first one is four approaches. Spring app. Spring app, not a spring boot app. We have four approaches to develop. First approach here is what is that? Using XML, using XML file, XML file configuration. Configuration now. Second is second by using annotation. Using annotation. By using fully annotation configuration. Configuration. Now third approach is third approach is using using third approach is very good, but not recommended. Second one is the recommended approach, Java config. 
I will show you both the four approaches. Okay. While using while using Java configuration, you can say you can say this is the hundred percent code driven. Here is not using any XML configuration. Okay. Now both approaches using Spring Boot. Spring Boot. Using Spring Boot. So in this in this particular series, I will teach using a Spring Boot how to develop a Spring application by using a Spring Boot. So now this is the Spring Boot is the separate course and the Spring is the separate course. Okay, lots of depends are there. So now let's see. So now Spring Boot is Spring Boot is auto configuration. Now point is Spring Boot is auto configuration. Configuration Spring Boot Okay, Spring Boot follows, Spring Boot follows. Follows auto configuration. Spring Boot is follows auto configuration approach. So auto configuration approach is provided something like, uh, uh, something like the classes, like Spring Bean classes is providing and JAR is also providing. It's, you can so we consider it is providing like uh, common common logic common requirement okay project requirement dynamically when we uh, like you can say here here you can come here and uh, suppose here you can spring boot such like spring boot yeah that's like a spring boot here Here you can like W quick start. These are the documentation, the official documentation by using Spring Boot initializer, you can create a project. Okay. And here is the Spring Boot starter. Starter dot Spring Boot is there. You can create it. But here in this project, in this series, I will use STS plugin, not like a Spring SLIDER. It's providing by the Spring firmware. Here you can select jar and version. You can select an example group ID, artifact ID, all these things. That you can select set uh, 17 is by default. Okay. So export and all the see there. This is the part. So when we use this thing, so this will generate so auto configuration means auto. It means auto configuration means it will it will generate it will generate the common it will generate the common. Thing so you generate the common things, common things required required in the in Spring Boot in Spring Boot in Spring Boot project required in Spring Boot project dynamically. Suppose you required something like Spring Beans, you required Spring Beans, so it will provide the dynamic when you select the start first. Like likewise, example. Let's say example like example like you can see a classes. Some classes it is providing as a spring bean. And the spring beans it is providing. And uh, next point is jars. It provides the jars. Next thing is it provide database connectivity. Base connectivity.
pointing on the uh, like some in memory database are fine, but uh, memory database I will discuss with you. Plugin, I mean, build plugins is with you, which is providing, and some configuration as well. So, other things, a lot of things are providing. Other things it is providing for us. And you select this thing to the start. Nice. So, so my point is, my point is when we use, why we are using, so why we are using Spring Boot instead of Spring? Because when we use Spring, suppose in our project, we have 1500 of clients of software, okay. And uh, I want to develop the application, okay. So some requirement is there. When we start development by using simple, like simple JDBC application and server JSP. So you can cover like uh, approximately 50, uh, like 500 lines of code, okay. And uh, by using stream favor, you can, you can uh, compress the lines, like you can decrease the line, like line of the code. Uh, suppose 500 by using, by using like, Sublet and GSP and using Spring, using Spring framework, you can develop by uh, 200 of the code in the project. Okay. And instead of using Spring, and instead of using Spring, you can, you can use Spring Boot. So you will get a, you will get a pro, so you will get a pro, so like 100 line of the code you should write and all those code it will provide automatically, not required to write database connectivity and auto configuration, just use auto wired and the configurations, okay. just use it. That's why it's a spring boot is the boom the market. Development, it's give the development is easier. You know, it's uh, like uh, uh, when you use framework, if you know about the something about framework, framework is providing, uh, providing, already implementation, providing some APIs, you can use the APIs and provide your things. What you want, you can just enter and get the result. Okay, you can give your idea, you can give your thought, that's it, it will give the output. So now by using, so I'm highlighting some points, so using, uh, using using Java double E using Java double E Java double E based project using Java uh, J double E J double E technology 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 you want. Develop one app, one application, application. So you will, you can write, you should write, you should write, you should write all the, all the, all the points, all the logics, logics like. Database connectivity, database configuration, configuration, database configuration, and other thing when do. But and you will get uh, approximately you will get uh, in my point of view. Suppose you will get uh, five hundred of the line that wrote it of code LOC. You have written. You have written like. We have written like 500 of the LOC line of the code. LOC is line of the code. But by using, by using, using, by using, by using, using Spring framework, Spring framework, you will get, you can develop the same application. You can develop same application, same application within. 200 LOC. 
and uh, third one is why because it Spring also providing database configuration also and configuration is also is providing it. Okay. And if you know about the spring, then it's good. Yeah. And by using, by using, by using spring framework, spring boot framework, by using a spring framework, you can develop, you can develop, develop same application, same application with the this the hundred or like one fifty hundred line of code. One hundred one fifty lose line of the code. So it will achieve your requirement. This is the highlight one. Suppose my example is suppose my example is I'm giving the example. I'm giving an example. I think plain JDBC, plain setting means plain JDBC app you want to develop. So you should write all this point like I developing plain JDBC application. Anyone know about uh, the what is the steps? Just here is we here I am providing some pseudo code, not writing it on code, just providing some pseudo code right here. So anyone know, please comment below in the description. Also, in the comment box, you can comment it. How many lines you should provide? So first, I am telling you, so load the load JDBC driver, load JDBC driver class, load JDBC driver class. Okay. Nowadays, it's not required, but it's old days, older days, old days is required. Now, next thing is establish the connection. Establish, establish the connection, establish the connection with the database, database one. That's the your thing, that's totally. And create a JDBC statement on that. Create JDBC statement, statement object, object. So now these things are required. Okay. Now next thing is next thing is send it, send and execute, send and execute SQL query, send and execute SQL query in database. Database. It's your responsibility to do. Okay. Now next thing is gather the result and process the result. Is that gather the result, getting get the result, get the, get the, get the result, the result, result, in the result set and process it and process the result. Okay, now this is the point. Now, next thing is handling the, handling the, handle the, Handle the exceptions. Exceptions. Now, this thing is close the zero responsibility close JDBC object. In JDBC objects. Which is uh, how many lines we should write when we develop plain JDBC application. First is load the driver, second is establish the connection. Uh, your Java application and with the database, create the JDBC statement object, then provide the uh, send to the execute SQL query to the database. So database execute the query and when the database get execute the query and get the result, get the result and process the result, handle the exception, it's your responsibility. Here, you can, uh, can you tell me what is uh, how many lines is the repeated? How many is the by is the common parts? We should provide all these times is the same. What it these many things? What is the, establish the connection with the database is common, and create the JDBC statement is the common. So now, now. Uh, 
So now this is the common line. Common logic. Common logic is there, okay. So this is the, these two lines is the, your requirement. If you want to insert the query, then provide the answer. Insert query, if you get the query, then provide the like application specific app specific logics. Okay. And here, also, you can see here is the exception. Exception handling and close operation is a common, common logic. So now tell me, do not tell me when you develop a plain application and the proof is there. Okay. When you develop a plain application, you should prepare these many steps. Okay. And while working with while working with spring, 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 some more code is required. Okay, I will give you. So now here I am giving some points also. Here I am giving some points also, guys. Here I am providing some points. Okay. While working with tips, if you want to write, then it's okay. But if you don't want to write, just listen. Listen that class and get the notes from the Telegram channel or otherwise in my favor. Okay. While while working with while working with Java Dawali technology. Programmer, developer, developer of programmer, developer, developer should take care of both, both common logic, common logic, and app specific, app specific logic. So, uh, what is this? Programmer is the responsible, okay? Programmer is the responsible. Programmer is the responsible while developing, while using J2 design interface. Next point is, working, writing same common logic in multiple applications. Writing, writing, same. Suppose in same common logic, common logic is multiple apps is called that is called what that is called as a boiler code boiler. I don't judge my knowledge with the my spelling. Okay. So some common logic sit there. These three lines of common logic sit there and these two common logics in there. And these common logic you are providing one application, one layer, and another layer kind of thing. So this is the boilerplate code you can see. Okay, guys. So now. This is the story about, this is the story about which one? This is the story about which one? Plain jetting. Suppose using spring, using spring, spring framework, using spring framework, I'm using core API. Okay, perfect. So here you can use, I will teach you, I will taught all the things, all the things, I will taught you all the thing in the, all these things in the coming sessions, slowly, slowly, just this is the introduction. Don't worry. Suppose here, just providing one thing. One minute, guys.
Main application. What is that? What is that? Uh, DP config. DP config. In that class, you can provide this class. You can provide what is that? In this class, you can provide like this class. You can provide one thing. What is that one thing? Public. 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 This is the class provided by the string root, string framework, driver manager data source, driver manager data source, driver manager data source, create, create data source. This is the method. Uh, in this method, I'm providing the implementation okay providing the implementation so now create one data source object driver data source or driver manager data source or the black obj in obj db equals to new driver manager data source to the shortcut and here obj dot just providing the obj obj db dot setup Driver class name, driver class name. This is the setter getter method. It is present in the driver manager data source class. Class guys. Okay. Here inside the here providing some like driver class name. Here you can provide. Okay. So it. And now our next thing is OBJ. OBJ DB dot set DB dot setter the URL URL okay. Here you can also provide something about URL which URL you want to provide here you provide it. Now next thing is provide the username or the username OBJ DB dot setter username username okay. Here you can provide your database username. Okay. Now here. On the setter. OBJ DB dot set. OBJ DB dot setter. Password. Here you can provide the password, your database password. So now by using this code, just provide uh, two annotation. What is that annotation? At the rate configuration. Configuration. Okay. So at the rate configuration, you can provide. So automatically it is configured. Okay. So now here you can provide the beans. You can provide the alias name for this beans. You can provide the human name bean. This is one annotation like DS. DS you can provide. So by using this DS, you can access these my property. You can access. So now here you can adjust just what is that? Just Developing the application, you are just developing the application, that's it. Provide the app configuration. Automatically configuration and DB configuration is there. So now using by using like uh, suppose you can develop one student class or like employee class you can develop.
Now here, so just here one here. This EMPDOI means this is for uh, uh, having the capacity for public string, public string. You can type with this thing like employee name is the string. Okay. Get the student. Get employee names. I think method one method is there. That's what we have to just here write. Just here you can write what is that? Just here is write application. Here you can write. Here you can you can write. Right here, you can only try go to that. You can write application specific specific logic. Logic that's it. Okay, not required to provide all this thing. Here, you can provide one annotation called private private data source. This is the bit seek data source. Data source like DS, right? And here at the rate and that photo. This by using this event. And here you can provide one notation like repository. Repository. When it's being famous, get this repository. This is automatically identified. This is the repository class. So data source is providing the connection internally by DS. By using DS object, you can get it all these things. Okay, that's why it's being famous. Being related things. I think I hope you, are, you can understand. This is the nice spring framework. Now it's coming into our topic. What is that our topic is? Spring Guru. How many lines of the code we should write Spring Guru? Spring Guru. While developing a Spring Guru app, just we provide two more things. Just we provide what is that? What is that? While developing Spring Guru app, we provide You provide only what is that? Guys, guys, you with me. So now here you can provide one. First, first thing you should add one, add one, add one. First, first thing we should do. We should do. We should. We should do. We should do. Add Spring Boot, Spring Boot Starter, Starter to class. You should add. Okay. First thing you should. So now, what is the starter in the Spring Boot? I will show you. I am going to show. You. Now here, just go Spring Boot, Spring Boot Starter. Like JDBC, other JDBC starter you want. Just click on Spring Boot JDBC starter. Mm 
click on this. So, not required to go inside the map bin. Next, tools or is provided. Just I am showing which starter you should add. Suppose you want the JDBC connection, JDBC connection. So you can use this ping boot starter JDBC. Okay. So now here, yes. now here. Okay. Add the dependency, add this starter. Now, next thing is next thing is so this dependency having something like this dependency having this dependency having for multiple things. What I am giving to a three thing is something like data source object. Data source object having data source having and also JDBC template. JDBC template and next thing is if having next thing is named the parameter JDBC template. Name the parameter. Template and detector. Multiple. Okay. So now I'll do pink this application. First, you should now second thing. First thing you should do and and this is starter. And second thing you should do, but that provide the configuration, provide the properties, provide the properties, provide the properties. Here, when we when you are the uh, when we are creating one Spring Boot starter project, then you will get one file, one file called the application. Application dot properties properties file. This file you will get it automatically. In this file, inside this file, you can provide. You can provide in this file. You can provide. You can provide some configuration like within the key pair. What the key and pair? Key pair value. Like key and value. First, you provide the key, and second, this value. So now, key is the uh, default one provided by the spring. So here is the key spring. Okay, like the spring. Dot spring dot data source source dot driver data source dot driver class name class name. Now you can provide the class name just providing like something. Now same thing. Ever string dot data source dot URL URL equals to just provide URL and a P and username. Username equals to providing here just as the spring same thing. Password is also password is also. I mean, if anyone don't know key and will just leave it. Okay. I'm telling you. I'm giving it. Uh, this one is key. This one is key. Key and this one is value. Perfect. Value. Now you can provide this configuration inside the application dot properties file. After that, just go and prepare your DO class. That's it. Prepare your DO class. Okay. 
So now you can prepare one of your DO class, same DO class I am using. This is not required to hear it. This is providing configure. So let's copy this. Control C and then paste it. I just provide this. Okay. Here you can return this. Return question. So now this is all about Spring Boot, guys. This is all about Spring Boot. So now at the end, I am giving two or three points, very important point. Yeah, I am giving two or three points. Is string board, string board, string board provide, string board provide auto configuration. Auto configuration, auto. Auto configuration. Third is abstraction. Abstraction of Java double unit. This is providing two things. What are the two things? First is first is providing providing auto configuration here. Just remember one thing. Just to be declared one here, anything I have done it like configuration, like configuration uh, annotation. Just I am using this, just I am using which is that it repository that's it auto wire that just provide application. When we start your application and Spring Boot application automatically recognize this property and inject inside this object. Okay, by using this object, you can get it and writing the getter and return method. Okay, by writing uh, some uh, specific uh, application specific logic, so you will get it. Okay, guys. So now this is all about Spring Boot. Now at the end, I'm telling your workspace, guys. Yeah. Okay. Inside the SSD, class workspace, building on folder like Spring Boot, Spring Boot, okay. Notes, okay. okay. And videos. Okay. Notes file. So after that, I will provide the notes and I will just start uh, after two or three sessions. I will give a very good example over the rest of the okay. Then you will get more clarity about this. Thing. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Thank you.